Hey, this is a quick tutorial on how to build a Node.js scraper with smart retries, proxy rotation, and Cloudflare protection bypass. I'm going to use a subscription-based solution called Script Ninja for this. And uh, why? To save time. Script Ninja includes multiple proxy countries and emulates Chrome TLS fingerprint, which is a very nice feature to have today because Cloudflare protection is getting more and more popular and it uses TLS fingerprinting to detect scrapers. And I will show you how this protection works in some random website which we are going to scrape today. So let's start. And um, here's the website that we want to scrape. I have just opened the Chrome inspector and I will refresh the page to get the request which we're gonna copy as curl and let's now launch this request from our terminal and this is what we get we get instead of target website html we get uh, cloud flutter protection page you see so why did this happen we have sent all the headers exactly like a like a real browser but at the same time Cloudflare managed to detect our uh, request that it is not a real browser uh, and this is done using TLS fingerprinting technique and uh, now let's try to bypass it using Script Ninja so we're gonna copy this request again as curl and open the Script Ninja code generator to save time on writing code. Now we're gonna paste our request here and our subscription key that uh, you need to get on the Script Ninja website. Okay, so here is our rapid API key. We can copy paste it from the code section and let's paste it into our generated code like this and click convert so now our curl command will be converted to javascript which is a server-side javascript okay so we have pasted our rapid api key and uh, converted the curl command to javascript now i'm copying this javascript to to a new folder in my VS code. Well, I'm gonna create a index.js file and just copy paste all the code that I have generated. After this, I need to install node fetch to this folder. I'm gonna use script ninja hint for this. Uh, just copy paste this and basically it in its new npm project in this folder and then installs node fetch version 2. Now we can just launch our scraper and see how it goes. There you go. We got the real data. It is important to understand that script ninja returns metadata uh, inside a JSON object. So if you want to get the raw body of the target website you need to use the body property of the response so after parsing the json of the response we need to get the body property and then we can use cheerio or any other uh, solution to extract uh, the elements from html that the website returned let's try to launch the code again okay and then this is the raw html of the target website uh, the best feature of script ninja is that you can quickly modify its behavior for example if you want to scrape this website strictly from europe uh, you can add uh, just another parameter here called geo and input the EU 
cluster here and Scrape Ninja will launch the scraping process from European based proxies. And uh, this is interesting, you see. Cloudflare does not like the European proxy for this particular website. And uh, let's try US. And United States works fine. And so you just try and see how it works. And all the possible parameters of Script Ninja are available on its website. So if you get here and click this example drop down, you can see uh, this advanced example. And you can see that you can modify the retry number with the proxy cluster, the timeout which uh, specify, specifies the timeout in seconds, text not expected and status not expected parameters which uh, provide you a way to retry on some text or on uh, target website response status. Thank you for watching and bye bye.